So when do Masachika and Masha realize that they are childhood friends? Get ready, because this will be a bit of a spoiler, so if you're not into spoilers, feel free to skip. The story starts with Masachika having a childhood friend with blue eyes, and who's fluent in Russian. Most people would probably guess that it's Alia, right? Wrong. It turns out that Masachika's childhood friend isn't Alia, but her older sister, Masha. Masha is known as a girl who's always indifferent when guys ask her out. There's even a rumor that she already has a boyfriend, but who would have thought that the boyfriend isn't real? In reality, that boyfriend is just a memory from her childhood related to Masachika. Specifically, it's a doll and a locket with a picture of young Masachika inside. This clearly shows how much Masha cares about Masachika. She even thinks of herself as Masachika's girlfriend, and every week, she goes to the park where they first met, hoping to see him again. Now, in Volume 4, during the epilogue, it's mentioned that Masachika is heading home and decides to stop by that same park from his childhood memories. By chance, he sees a very familiar figure. And yes, it's Masha, who also happens to be visiting the park. When Masha realizes it's Masachika, she immediately walks up to him and says in Russian, It's been a while, hasn't it, Masachika? Masachika instinctively responds back. From there, they start talking and reminiscing together, recalling the old days. But on the other hand, Masachika is shocked to see how much Masha has changed. Her hair and eyes are completely different from when they were kids. Maybe it's due to genetics, but her appearance has totally transformed. Curious, Masachika asks, why did you leave me back then? While remembering the moment when Masha said, it's time for us to say goodbye. I'm not the one destined for you, so you won't see me again. But it turns out Masha clarifies and says that she actually meant, if you're not my destined one, we won't meet again. But if you're my soulmate, we'll definitely meet again. Hearing this, Masachika is surprised, because back then, Masha had just made a mistake when speaking Japanese, which changed the meaning. Masha originally only spoke Russian, but she was determined to learn Japanese, so she could talk to Masachika. Similarly, Masachika, who only knew a little Russian at the time, worked hard to improve after meeting Masha, even though he already knew a bit. Speaking of their first meeting, it happened in a park when Masachika was still a kid. He saw Masha being teased by other children, because she didn't understand Japanese. That's when Masachika stepped in as a little hero, helping Masha and asking in Russian, are you okay? From that moment, they started liking each other because they felt comfortable together. That was also the beginning of Masha falling deeply in love with Masachika, 